Hey guys, it's me. I just finished filming the first half of this video. I hope you came back from that video and came over to this one. I have another set of wax that I would like to show you from Goose Creek and I've already opened up a couple of them, um, a couple of the, the notes on the website so I can give those to you. Um, however, I think one is missing. I just realized I don't think banana pudding was ever uh, shipped and that kind of stinks because I kind of purchased this when they sent me the notification that banana pudding was available um so i guess we'll see if that ships but i am one short but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i do have here um because i really enjoyed everything so far and so far i mean so far first i have cool harvest morning I'll show you over here cool harvest morning has a little country church area so i was actually just in a little town like this like almost exactly this town. Me and my mom went on a train ride uh, with my husband. She invited me and my husband on a train ride. Oh my gosh. This smells so, this smells really good. This is one of my favorite. Okay, I hate to say it so early, but this is one of my favorite fall scents. Um, apple fall scents, I should clarify. Did I show you guys the wax? So here you have a beautiful wax. I don't know what that little piece is hanging out, but it's a beautiful color. And they did make sure to make everyone, every fall scent even slightly shaded different. Um, the notes in here are fresh apple, cool autumn mist, apple peels, bright bergamot, and soft sandalwood. I get the apple. I guess I get cool autumn mist. They did the perfect amount of bergamot because bergamot honestly could give me a headache sometimes and so could sandalwood. But I really, really enjoy this. This is beautiful. The packaging's beautiful. Love everything about that. Here next we have Sunflower Daydream. I thought this was a part of the fall um, collection, I guess, because uh, sunflowers have been very trendy lately. And then the weird part is Okay, you see this color here? I'm looking on the website because I'm like, did I get confused? But this color is like a lilac purple, lavender purple, one of my favorite purples. This is blue. That's about the color, here it goes. So weird, weird, just confusion on my part, I guess. Um, so again, this is Sunflower Daydream. It smells beautifully floral perfume, like beautiful floral perfume. It's actually the notes. <laughs> As, as soon as I looked up, I was like, the notes start with beautiful sunflowers. So yes, I do smell that. Beautiful sunflowers, sweet autumn apple, jasmine rose, ozonic. Can somebody explain ozonic? A ozonic or ozonic? A lot of my favorite scents have that in it. I'm going to Google this after this video. Amber, musk, and cedarwood. I'm also a huge fan of musk, and this is really musky. Um, so that, I love that. I love the packaging. Only thing is I wish it was purple. <laughs> Next, another one of the melts had this weird stuff on it. It honestly looks like wax is on here, but from what I don't know, this is falling leaves. Falling leaves is a really pretty color. Look at that. That's beautiful. It smells so good. It smells like an Aldi, something that Aldi made last year. That's honestly one of my favorite scents. Um, so I love this one so far. I'll tell you that, uh-oh, do I not have that one open? Okay, bear with me for a second while I look for Falling Leaves, the wax melt scent description. Okay, so Falling Leaves, oh, it's available in a, a single wick though. It's available in a sing, single wick and one of their little cuter, what I call cuter large jars, which is like a, it's not like a, I call them country jars candles uh, it's like the yankee candle shape so they come in a not yankee candle shape too and again to put in reference the large jar is 16 ounces and it is 25.99 regular price these are always going to be four dollars on their website i say that like i know them it's four dollars currently and it has been since i've been shopping with them um but the notes are ripe apple plum nectar falling leaves wild moss maple tree and oak tree Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> None of those sound like something that's in here. Um, I don't even know what to tell you guys because that was so not what I smelled. 
this kind of smells like leaves as well. I had another one in the other video smell like leaves, but those notes are so strange. Again, I feel like somebody at Goose Creek feels really pressured to make sure they put a whole bunch of notes. But I'm like, is this really, like, is it really, you know? Anyways, the next one I have is Minted Eucalyptus. And this is one of the non-fall scents that I did get. Um, I got this because I've been searching for this on their website for so long. And it smells like every other mint eucalyptus mix. But I love this smell. And when I saw that they had one, I wanted to grab it. Um, so I put myself on the notification list, which is something I love about their website. You can click notify me when available. And you can either get a text message or a phone call. and Or no, phone call. A text message or an email. <laughs> what kind of personal life? You can get a text message or an email. And then you go purchase it when it is available. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is, it's, it's plain wax. Sorry. I just got so distracted, but let me tell you, these notes are about to be ridiculous. <laughs> the notes, fresh eucalyptus, mint leaves. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's it. Bright bergamot, sheer freesia, light woods. No, no, no. Don't smell that. Love this though. <laughs> Love the packaging. Definitely worth it. <laughs> they didn't have to put all that. So let me tell you guys about the least favorite of the bunch. I feel so bad because I wanted to like Ivory Pumpkin, but there is something in here. Let me go find the scent notes for Ivory Pumpkin. Oh, here it goes. So this has a really like, it's not white like this wax is white. It's not like non-colored. This has a color to it to make it creamier, um, but something in this smells buttery. And I don't like it. I don't like the buttery. This kind of, I don't know. It's not the worst. It's just like, if it comes off more buttery when it starts to melt, I'm definitely not gonna like it. Like there is some scent out there that smells just like buttered popcorn um, that they never, like not just Goose Creek, but a lot of wax companies never recognize as butter or butter popcorn. But a lot of people can smell it. And it's so weird to me that they don't say anything about it. But the scent notes, here, let me show you the front. I didn't show you guys the ivory pumpkin. Very cute, very trendy, or should I say on trend. Um, it's cinnamon stick, fresh ginger, ground nutmeg, pumpkin puree, spice pecan, creamy vanilla, caramel swirl, and brown sugar. I guess what I'm getting is the creamy vanilla or the caramel swirl. Y'all, I don't like stuff with caramel, and that might be what it is too that I smell currently. This smells like something Bath and Body Works has, but I can't put my finger on what it is. I don't know why I just smelled it like that. But the equip, I just dropped the top. The equivalent to the Bath and Body Works scent that smells like this, I don't like that either. So unfortunately this one is my least favorite of all of them. And last but not least is a repurchase. Y'all, I was so excited. I was able to get my hands on this because I love this scent, y'all. Love this scent. Let me go ahead and pull up the notes. And this, you guys, is probably one of my favorite scents I've ever gotten from Goose Creek. And this is Autumn in Amsterdam. Look how beautiful that scenery is. Look how beautiful this wax color is. Look at us. Oh, you guys, this is so good. This is one of my favorite. I think I just said that. I have to tell you guys again. Listen up. This is one of my favorite scents from Loose Creek. It smells so good that I have literally considered getting a large jar. Currently today, let me see if it's available. As I film this, their large jar is not available. Not surprised. I'm pretty sure this sells out as soon as people put their number down, which I'm currently doing. Um, and the, oh, it doesn't have a price because I guess it's sold out currently. Okay, well the scent notes, we'll skip to the skin, scent notes. It's bright citrus, apple, cur black currant, blackberry woods, light spice, and sandalwood. I do get the sandalwood. I knew it had to have apple. It's kind of a perfumey apple fall scent though. Um, but I would definitely, without hesitation, purchase this in a candle. Um, this is my second wax melt of it. 
So, and I always say like repurchases speak louder than first impressions. Repurchases speak louder than hauls. Repurchases speak the loudest. You know, like there's nothing that anyone on YouTube can tell you that they about a product and how much they love a product outside of they went ahead and repurchased it. Because even if I was like a big YouTuber that Goose Creek sent me packages, I don't even think they do that to anybody. If that YouTuber goes out and buys it again with their money, that even says a lot to me because you got millionaires out here on YouTube and they are like sent packages on packages. If they go out and buy something, oh yes. Now, not that person. However, for me to spend my money again on something is really big deal. It's a big deal for anybody. This is one of my favorites. Anyways, guys, buy you some wax. Do it. It smells great. It's such a cheap alternative. Um, I love it. I love warming wax when it's so bright outside. I know you guys can't really <laughs> see out my windows, but it's really bright outside this September, all of September pretty much, and most of August. Um, but have a great day. Subscribe below. I think I forgot to say it in my last video. Um, subscribe below. Have a great day. And thank you for all of you that are subscribed. I'm glad you came back. Have a good day again. <laughs>